Hello, everybody. Looks like we are live. Been a while since I've streamed on the PS5. Hey, Cece. So how's everyone out there doing? Hope your 2023 has started out as well as it can. Mine's been fine so far. Nothing crazy. Sent me something in PSN messages. Did 172 of the Journey quiz and letter games. Uh, that's going to end up being one of my alt accounts eventually because I do still intend to do another like world record type of stream where I try to break my own record, which I know I can do. I know I can do a sub three and a half hours with zero effort. Uh, it's more, can I get it in under three hours? I think that would be pretty cool. So... As the title and the thumbnail states, I hope my thumbnail game has improved at least a little bit. Tonight, we are going on another Platinum Dumpster Dive. The first one of 2023, and this is not going to be something I do very often moving forward. I don't want to give too much time, effort, support, or money to some of the shovelware. Even though the games we're doing today, we're not doing any jumping games... I refuse to put any jumping games on my list. I refuse to put any more of the animal letter or ball letter games on my list. I refuse to put any of the car journey games on my list. I refuse to put any of these stroking animals games on my trophy list. I do have some standards, believe it or not. So tonight's list is mostly like Rataleka and East Asia Soft, I'm pretty sure. Which is at least a little bit more reputable of developers than some of the others. There's also no Breakthrough Arcade games on here. I hardly ever do those anymore. Only if it's an Archer and Halloween game do I continue to do those. Just because I've done the whole series so far. So I don't really have a choice but to keep doing it. So I think we're going to start out with some Running of an Idol Cafe. Would you like to run an idol cafe? Not really. But I do like trophies. There's that. I like trophies. So, yeah. We're going to go run an idol cafe. Alright. How bad are these games going to be, guys? What's the over-under on this? How bad are these games going to be? Actually, who made this one? I want to see who made this one. Gamazumi. Uh, that's... Yeah, I know that name, but is that... Are they tied at all to... Uh... To Rataleka? I don't think so. I think they're separate. Because I think that... Because Rataleka didn't make, like, the Sakura Succubus games. That's right. Gamazumi's another one of the super easy developers. Kind of forgot about them because I don't... I haven't done any of these in a while. Not I only ever do these pretty much on dumpster dive days. Enjoying my likely last night of drinking before I fully kick dry January into gear. Into dry February. Okay, so we're going to confirm English. Wow, that's loud. Okay, that was loud. Okay, let's change both of those. Skip unseen text, transitions, and after choices. Hey, Simon. You only did one dumpster game, Sakura 6. 
Oh, well, that makes sense, yeah. You did it at 69, that, that's totally fine. That's completely respectable. Okay, so this is one where we have to make choices. I wouldn't mind marrying her either. Okay. I love how they're using, like, all the same character models and backgrounds and stuff as they did in the, like, Secure Succubus games. Try to be understanding. It feels nice. Uh-oh, where are we going here? This is about to be not safe for YouTube. I think Ichigo? Is that Ichigo? Is exaggerating? Well, I do like her a lot. It's actually kind of nice. Now we have to reassure her. No, I don't. And don't say things like that. Let me say that's not a bad idea. Oh, in your dreams. I didn't see that it's not a bad idea option. Uh, I think they look cute together. You're playing Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Nice. Skywalker Saga was awesome. Highly recommend playing. Okay, so now we need to save. And now we're going to pick... I'd like to see her in a swimsuit. Because... Reasons. And now we make another save. And now we have to pick Ichigo. I'm just going to keep calling her Ichigo. What is all this? I swear there's something going on around here tonight. So I keep getting notices on my phone like my ring camera keeps going off. And uh, along with that, I swear there must have been a drive-by shooting or something earlier nearby. Because I definitely heard someone empty, do a mag dump with a bunch of cars driving around and it was really loud. So I honestly don't know what happened. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was something that happened earlier, so. And then we just have to pick, cool, cool. That's quite a bit of dialogue. And that should be Platinum. You did uh, Evil Inside. I don't know anything about that one. Alright. There's our first Platinum of the dumpster. Of tonight's dumpster. Alright, let's get that shit out of here. One down. I have like probably ten more that I plan on doing tonight. And then if we end up... I don't know how long the stream's gonna go yet... Oh, you know what? We're gonna get platinum, or we're gonna get trophy number 25,000 tonight. Uh, okay. I didn't realize that I was that close to 25,000. I think we're gonna break the order up a little bit. Because I got, I can think of something better for 25,000. Oh, and by the way, been playing some Fallout New Vegas on here, light, or uh, streaming it on here. Absolutely love doing that. This game is still incredible. It's a 30 minute PT type game. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, streaming this game on here has been a lot of fun. It plays just so much better. I mean, if it had the DLCs, I would be able to do my 100% eventual trophy playthrough on the PS5 here. And it would be so much easier. It would work a million times better. Unfortunately, that's not a thing that happens. Because very rarely do games actually give you DLCs on PlayStation streaming. And I wish they did. Because it would make things so much better. It would allow me to... Okay, yep, loud. 
Turn that down. See, it would be so nice to be able to do that. I would love to be able to play New Vegas in a good setting. Same with Fallout 3. Especially now that we're at that point where Fallout 3 is going to start to become a problem. Okay, Mayuki. So this is a game about... Okay, so actually... I think with this game... Apparently in Japan there's such thing as maid cafes... And they're not, like, meant to be sexual or anything. They're just meant to, like, have the men be, like, taken care of by people that dress up as maids. And it's not necessarily... It's never supposed to, like, turn sexual or anything, I don't think. Except maybe some of them. But apparently that's actually a thing. So, I think that's what this game is all about. Now, don't... Don't quote me, because I might be wrong on that. But I think that's actually what's going on here. I think that's what this is. Except that they're turning into a lesbian fantasy world. Uh, we reply honestly. And now we get to do our first save. And after save one, I'd like to see Mayuki in her swimsuit. Now we make save number two. And we pick Ichigo. Again, I'm sure I'm horribly mispronouncing that name, and I do apologize for that. I think the only game that has DLC through streaming is Force Unleashed, which that's a good thing because I actually do want to play that at some point. Because... The second game was okay. It wasn't... I wasn't, like, overly impressed by it. But, I mean, I might as well do that so I can do the series. Even though I know the first one's harder. As far as I'm aware, the first one's harder. But I could be wrong on that. Okay, we are almost done running our first ever Idol Cafe. Now we'd like to see Ku in her swimsuit, and then we pick her name again. And that's it. Hi, Hunter the Squirrel. So I need to do that at some point with uh, Force Unleashed 1. Even though I know it's a tougher game, it's at least a really good game that has great, you know, uh, like longevity. People will remember it. People like the game. I definitely need to do that at some point. That would be fun. Because the second one is kind of meh. Alright, so that was only like 13 trophies. But for both of these games, you pretty much just have to get all the endings and pick a few specific dialogue options. It can be done in 842. Yeah, three minutes. Three to four minutes. So, very quick, very easy platinum. Which means, we naturally have to do it all over again. Whatever this is. We're going to run a second Idol Cafe. This one is a whole five minutes? That is... That is excessive. You can't make a game that takes five minutes for a live platinum stream like this. Disgusting. Hey, Dresdabloon. It's going good. And I am playing some visual novel games and mostly skipping through it. I don't know if the developers cared that much about the story either. Maybe they did. I don't want to be an asshole to them because they're still putting more effort into these games than uh, jumping whatever jumping food game it is that they're currently on today. And I hardly even look at that part of PSN Profiles anymore because it's just so much freaking shovelware. Okay, so before this first one, we have to make our first save. Uh, then we do, they look a tr Oh, we pick uh, Ichigo again. Ichigo's back. 
Then we tell them that they look attractive. I love when you get multiple trophies for a single dialogue choice. Oh, this one's going to be not safe for YouTube, isn't it? Probably. Probably very not safe for YouTube. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's going to be real safe for YouTube, isn't it? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So now we have to tell them that something feels good. And then we have to tell them to leave us alone. It's going to give us two trophies. And then we just play along with the delusions. There is a lot of dialogue in this one. And that's how you can tell that they actually, you know, put some kind of effort into these. Because, I mean, they clearly have a lot of, like, dialogue and stuff in them. Like, they very clearly have a lot of, uh... They definitely have more effort put into these than other games. Like I said before, they put... Five minutes per platinum, that's too long. Yeah, man, nowadays that's way too long. Nowadays, you can get, uh... You can get super easy, uh... You can get platinums in three minutes. You can get platinums in under one minute. You can get a hundred platinums probably in under three hours if I purchase the correct games for it. Like I said, I do want to do that at some point and try to break my record but get it under three hours. Which I think is something that I can definitely do. Uh, I think it just depends on exactly which games I decide to purchase for it. Because I think I would have to do entirely... I'd have to do Nitro versions. All the Nitro versions of the Journey games. I have to do all the Turbo versions of the Jumping Food games. And then I'd still have to do a handful of these super quick visual novel ones. Not necessarily this one. Things like Legends of Talia that take a minute. And uh, Sakura Succubus 1 I know takes a minute. And then uh, things like Radioactive Dwarves had to do that, would have to do that one. Uh, play along with Delusions and then don't delete the footage. Yeah, because, I mean, again, there's definitely dialogue. There's definitely, like, stuff to do in these games. So they put more effort into it than most of the stuff. All right, now get us more things. Don't worry, you're too busy trying to focus on shooting down stormtroopers for the X-rated stuff. That's good. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm never... Like I said, uh, Elemental, I will never do a uh, any of those games on my main account. This time we're picking Mayuki. So yeah, I will never be doing any of those games on my main account. I did do a few of the of the Animal Letter games early on in the early days of Platinum Dumpster Diving, partially because I didn't think they would do as many as they... I didn't think they would become as heinous as they became. I was not expecting it to get as bad as it did. Like, I thought for sure they were going to slow down at some point. But no, I was wrong. And Sony still hasn't done anything about it. Which is the other problem, is that Sony still hasn't done anything about it, even though they said they would. And if they had, you know, we could be past all this crap by now. But no, Sony hasn't done anything about it yet, which is still kind of disappointing. Because I thought Sony was going to take action against copy and paste asset swap games. But apparently they uh, apparently they don't. Apparently they're not going to, at least not yet. Maybe someday. Alright, one more thing to do. We're almost done. Reload save number one and pick all of them. So you see this one gets you. They do a uh, they do a thing at the beginning, a big choice right at the beginning, so you have to do multiple playthroughs. 
I bet this thing plays like crap on the PS4. If you're actually playing it on a PS4, I bet this thing plays like absolute garbage. Especially with my PS4 not being in the best shape. It struggles now. It's it's getting old. I have two accounts. Technically, yes. I mean, for one, I have a North American and a European account from when I used to would do European stacks of games. I still own a handful of European stacks of old games that I still have to do at some point. But I don't ever buy them anymore. There's going to be one exception to that, though. I do want to do the European version of My Name is Mayo 3, purely for the memes. I do want to do that at some point for the memes. Because it's, it's My Name is Mayo. It's a meme. Everyone knows it's a meme. And it's a hell of a lot better than most of the shovelware that comes out these days by a, a massive margin. PS4 is in the closet now. I mean, I still use mine for some games... Sometimes. Alright, let's get this one off the list. That's three down. And... That didn't give me a lot of trophies, though. That's still only 12 trophies. Oh, wait, no, that was more than 12. That was 15, I think. Yeah, 15. Oh, so that was a little bit more, so we can do the second version of that now. Oh, and I did buy this. I am actually excited to play this. Uh, the PS4 version was really, really fun. And I plan on streaming this at some point. This will probably be like a next weekend kind of thing. I am looking forward to that, though. I really do want to play that game. Because, the again, the PS4 version was really fun. It was a surprisingly good game. Working on the Just Dance games. That is definitely an obscure franchise for trophy hunting. I know nothing about it. In terms of trophies. I know what the games are, of course. Alright, let's get started again. So we make our first save here. And we pick Ichigo. Then we say that they look attractive and sexy. It, it's the exact same dialogue options every time. That's the funny thing about this. Is that it's the exact same dialogue options every single time. Just with a different choice at the beginning. So you're, you're hooking up with different idol girls on each playthrough. And that's the only difference. It's almost always the first dialogue option every time. It is literally the first dialogue choice every single time. Wow. Okay. I didn't even realize that. I think it's I think it is the first dialogue choice every single time. So we play along with delusions. I'll read comments here in a second, guys. Let me just go ahead and get through this crap. I do want to make like a, a video from this in the new style. Play along with Hasuki's delusions. And then we just del Oh, we don't want to do that yet. Let's make our save. Don't want to have to do more work than necessary for running the Idol Cafe. And done. You have several accounts. Made the mistake of buying shovelware, but now you have a new account. Yeah, I can't blame you on that one. The thing for me is I have done quite a few poor games on this account. But at the same time... I have a lot of really good Platinums on my account. I mean, I have most of the Call of Duty games done to 100%. I have every Uncharted except for three done to 100%. And the, the new one, the one that's the combination one. I have almost every Killzone game done to 100%. Every one that's on my list is completely done, which includes two and Shadowfall. So, I mean, I have a lot of... I have, like, Red Dead 1 and 2 100%. I have GTA 5, even though it's not yet 100%. Which, that is the one I'm going back to soon. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not bothered too much by doing the heist and finishing the Doomsday heist once. 
I don't think any of that's going to be a problem. It, it's just those last two trophies, of course. I honestly don't know how bad the Elite Challenges are going to be because they're only tied to the ending. It, it's almost entirely the Criminal Mastermind Challenges that I'm worried about. Everything else seems fairly reasonable. It's an underrated game and one of the best for Terminators. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the game is actually, like, really, really good. Way better than I was expecting it to be. Terminator Salvation is another solid, uh, sort of original meme. And, I mean, I think Terminator Salvation could be a fun one to do a, uh, entire game platinum run series on. Although, the only way you're going to get me to play that game again is if I play it in co-op with someone. I ain't playing that shit solo. I ain't suffering through that again because it just doesn't work well. Uh, the game just doesn't function very well. Yeah, again, so every single time, it's the first dialogue option everywhere except for the don't delete the footage option. It's literally the first choice every time. And it just matters as to which girl you're, I guess, hooking up with or whatever. Like I said, I think this has something to do with those Japanese maid cafes. I should ask my grandmother about that because she's Japanese. Find out if this is actually, like, a thing over there. Then again, she hasn't been there since, like, before I was born, I, I don't think. So things have probably changed a lot. I'm gonna start What Remains of Edith Finch. Yep, that's a that's a very good game. Did the PS5 version this week. It was a lot of fun. Highly, highly recommend that game. So glad that they added in a platinum trophy for this version that made it even better. But it's a great game. It's a little weird at times for sure, but it's a really, really good game. And then don't delete. One more playthrough. And then we can move on to something else. Alright, let me load this up one more time. And now I pick all three of them. Spoilers, you just saw Lego Han fall into a pit. I don't even remember that part exactly which one that would have been. So I played that game. It's been like the better part of a year since I was playing that game. But it was a great game. I, I still say, I still stand by, I wish that that game had gotten... Uh, trophy DLC. It's one of the rare times I would have liked a game to have gotten trophy DLC. Because I really enjoyed playing it. Yes, it was kind of a grind and all. There was probably a lot more of collectibles and everything than we ever needed. But it was fun. Like, I enjoyed the majority of it. And those were some of my highest viewed streams ever from that game. Like, my highest viewed stream was from that game. And several other really highly viewed ones were there. So, I would love to have gotten more DLC with actual trophies for that reason. But all we're getting is character packs. I'm sure that's nice for people who, you know, don't want to deal with going back to the game. And I totally understand that. It's how I am for many games. But with that game, like, again, that's one of the rare ones where I would have liked to have gotten DLC trophies. Keep my OG account. Yeah, I mean, it's... My account is... I've had it since, like, 2008. I've had it since the very beginning of trophy hunting. Uh, oh, it was in Force Awakens? Okay, gotcha. What a cultured-looking game. Ah, uh, maybe to some people. I don't know. Not as in tune with my home country's culture as I probably should be. All right. Well, not my home country, but my uh, the country that my ancestors come from. What's the platinum percentage on this? Only 86%? That That's surprising to me. This one's only 73%? Wow. That is shockingly low. That is shockingly low for that game. Did I see the Jedi Survivor trailer? Yes, I did. That game looks like it's going to be awesome. Okay, what are we doing next? I just need to do a little bit of mental math here. 
57. So the next game I'm planning on doing has 13 trophies with two stacks. So that's 26. So that's 63, 73. Okay, yep, we can do that one next. Ah, uh, next up. More anime girl. Well, hentai girls, anime girls, whatever the hell it is. More of it. Now we're playing Sakura Succubus, the original. These games actually go on sale a lot now. Which, I guess, speaks something to their quality. What does it look like in whatever this language is? The funny thing is that... Uh, with this... This game, the reason I'm doing it in some other random-ass language... Is because... There's actually no... No missable trophies in this one. You just pick the first dialogue option every time and you're good. So this one actually has nothing missable in it. If anyone can read any of this, go for it. So you started yours late into the PS4. They couldn't handle the sheer culture. Well, the Idol Cafe one at least I think makes sense because, like I was talking about before, I think those maid cafes are a thing in Japan. Yeah, Jedi Survivor is going to be awesome. It's weird though, I kind of kept forgetting that that game was even coming out because the main ones I'm thinking of for this year are, you know, you got Resident Evil 4 Remake, of course, is the biggest one for me. You've got uh, Spongebob Cosmic Shake. You've got Hogwarts. Oh, well, yep. That was quick. Uh, yeah. I, I, I legitimately have no idea what's happening with that game. Because I put it in whatever that language was. I don't know if that was Chinese or Japanese or Korean or what. But hey, another Platinum Trophy! <laughs> All right. Well, since we did one version, we gotta do the other version. I, I wonder if it would be considered a meme to have all the Sakura Succubus games done. <laughs> of all franchises to have done. So they are a thing in Japan, but real touristy. Okay, gotcha. Hey, sweet plays. Do all of these games have Platinums? Yes. Sadly, they all do. All the Sakura Succubus games have Platinums. Most of these visual novel games have Platinums. Yeah, most of them do. Alright, let's go again! Yep, I'm definitely skipping dialogue, regardless of if it's in Japanese or not. So this would be one of the games that I would do in that 100 Platinum speed run next time. Because this one legitimately is just finish the game and you're done. And that's all you have to do. So it would make for a very good one to do. You've seen better. I think I recognize these characters from when I did Sakura 4. The only reason I did Sakura 4, by the way, is because I managed to get a free copy of it. And I, I don't turn down free stuff. You know, I, I don't turn down free stuff. So, I, I wasn't going to pass that up. Got all the chests in Unity done. Nice. Rip to your wall insanity. Yeah. They're not all this easy, though. Yeah, they're actually not all that easy. The other ones usually require you to make actual specific dialogue choices. How in the hell does this game have a... S <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe players have collectively decided to keep it at 69%. <laughs> But 
how is this one only at 69%? You literally just have to finish the game. Do 30% of people that touch this game go through one screen and not play the rest of it? Okay, that one's a little bit higher. What is with these low percent? I, I know that these percentages are not just trophy hunters. These are everyone that's ever bought the games. I know that that's a thing. But you literally only have to finish this game to get the Platinum. And it's way rarer than the ones where you have to make specific choices. I, I don't understand that at all. I really don't. That, that does not make any sense. Edith Finch is 20% because, like, I know that that one's way higher on PSN profiles. But again, this is a legitimately good game, so no one's going to complain if you do that even twice because it's a legitimately good game. Okay, what to do next? Oh boy. This has been an interesting night so far of anime titties and such. Okay, so Strawberry Vinegar I'm probably going to do tonight. Tanks versus Tanks I want to do. Uh, Round Invaders and Round Invaders Rush I plan to do. I need to check something with Round Invaders as to how many trophies it has. Okay, this is a 13 trophy game. Uh, and where am I currently at? My 25,000th trophy is going to be an auto pop. But it's going to be... You know what? Screw it. We're going to do a legitimately good game now, even though it's an auto pop. No Man's Sky. We're going to grab this. I know it's an auto pop. But once we're done uh, with Platinums tonight, I'm probably going to play this. Because No Man's Sky has become a legitimately good game. After they fixed all the early issues. It's released so much free content. Rabisco. Yeah, but that one's a little bit longer. So don't worry... I actually do want to play a little bit of this later, like, legitimately. So I know it's going to be an auto-pop, but at least 25,000 is going to be something that's actually a good game. Hell, who knows, depending on the way the trophies, the order we get them in, I might get something really good for 25,000. But No Man's Sky is a legitimately good game now. Alright. Let's see if they actually all show up. Or if it only shows one and then the Platinum. Oh, nope. It showed one and then the Platinum. Damn, I was hoping it would show all of them. Well, there's another Platinum. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Emma. So I guess, like, this was my original save... When I originally got the Platinum, this was one when they released some of the DLCs. And this one was the Permadeath Run. Which I used, I did use someone else's world to get through it. Well, that auto popped. And 25,000 trophies. I wonder what PSN Profiles is going to have as my 25,000th. You know what? Uh, I'm going to scroll on over to PSN Profiles and see what they tracked as my 25,000th. Real quickly. Give me just a moment here, guys. I'm doing that on my computer here. I hope that doesn't screw with the stream. So, hey, 25,000 trophies earned. At least number 25,000 was in a good game. It tracked... Ah, uh, that wasn't anything creative. It gave me a uh, attained discoverer status. In... Where is it? Okay, at least it's a gold trophy. But it's a discoverer status in... Oh, it's this one. It tracked this one as 25,000. Okay. So it tracked this one. Uh, so from what I remember with this game, Zoology was the one you got for scanning all the life on a planet, or scanning total number of life. 
Uh, space exploration, I think, had to do with jump with warping a lot. I think that was the hardest one, from what I remember. Uh, units, that's currency. Words is when you learn new languages. Uh, this one you had to, like, actually talk to aliens to get, I believe. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Shoot down enemy ships while you're flying around. There was one type. There was one type of milestone that never actually got tracked for trophies. But there was another one. I think it was for... I think it was for killing the Sentinels. You had to kill a certain number of them, I think. Uh, no, this was the hardest one. This is the one where you had to survive on an extreme planet for a certain amount of time, which was a, a hell of a lot harder back when the game came out. And this one was for walking a certain number of steps. And then the Pathfinder update, you had to claim a base or buy a freighter, which is fairly simple. The Exocraft, uh, you can do all that in normal. This one, you have to, you know, visit another player's base. You have to go online for that one. And then you have to reach the end of the game in permadeath mode. And that'll actually pop both of these. But uh, if you have a friend or anyone out there that has a world that is really like that has a base close to the center of the galaxy you can just warp in on them okay but that like i said that's a game i definitely want to actually play some later on and like actually experience it on ps5 because i bet it's a lot better okay what we gonna play next uh let's break up the hentai shit real quick and let's do some other shitty game I mean, this game is also complete and total shit, but at least it's a different kind of shit. I'm at a loss for words as to how this game exists. I would not really call this... I guess it's a game. Kind of. Like, sort of. I think this could qualify as a game because it has some degree of gameplay. I actually don't remember exactly what the Platinum Trophy requires. I think you have to beat a level without using... or I would have already beaten a level without using a missile. I think you have to beat a level uh, or fail a level after using all your missiles. Uh, real real high quality on the store here, guys. Uh, great job, Sony. Uh, where's that quality control you promised us like three months ago? Now there's red donuts everywhere. They're jelly filled. So I think once I beat this level, I then just have to lose on the level after wasting all of my rockets. So now I think I just have to die, and I think that's the Platinum. Alright. Red gonorrhea orbs. Move on in. Come on in. Is this supposed to be the Earth that has a giant turret on it or something? I, I don't even know. I feel like someone could have a lot of fun doing a challenge like this, but they're high the whole time on just who knows what substance they're high on. I think people could have fun playing some of these trippy-ass games. Alright, there it is. Well, that was easy. Never have to play this shit again. I think this was the re-released version, actually. It has, like, a unique title to it or something. Excuse me there, guys. Okay, yep, that's 684. Okay, so you had to beat levels 1 through 4. You had to get 400 points, which was unmissable if you beat those levels. You had to destroy a red saucer on level 5. Shoot once. Shoot a rocket once. Beat a level, which can easily be the first level without using a rocket. And then lose a level after shooting all your rockets. And Okay, so basically... Beat the first four levels without shooting a rocket and without dying. Then, on level five, kill a red thing. Then use all your rockets, then die. That's all you have to do. Okay. 
Easy enough. Whew, easy enough. Now, I don't know what this trophy list is. I've never played this version. I actually just bought this. Well, let's see what it is. I'm sure it's going to be of the highest quality that Sony can possibly allow. I see an alien with six eyes and a triangular mouth with heart bubbles looking at ice cream. So that that's a that's a quality game. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Whoa, this is different. Oh, it's directional pad. Um, is this the entire game? Is this the entire game? I can't pause to look at the trophy list. I actually can't pause to look at the trophy list. He's not even, like, directly under them, though. Okay, I guess I at least give him credit this is something different than the original Round Invaders. I guess they get that kind of credit. Th that sure as hell isn't saying a lot. But I guess at least it's something different. Oh, I bet that's a trophy. I bet those ice cream sundaes are a trophy. Oh, well. Well, I have no idea what the fuck I just did. I honestly don't. I apologize for the language, but I have no idea what the hell just happened. Because, again, I didn't even look at the trophy list, so I had no idea what that was going to be like. So, collect an ice cream cone, collect a Spumoni cone, and earn... Okay, well, I don't know what that one's for. Oh, right there. Then you have to lose a life. Oh, so you get those two there. Okay, so that's probably your hardest trophy there. You have to collect at least 30 cones and two of the big bowls. Because you don't get the bowls until later, so you have to play pretty well until then. Because of how fast it goes there. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, yeah. Well, that's done. Uh, great. What are we playing next? I'm not going to play Thunder Flash tonight. That one takes like half an hour. Same with Rubisco. Those both take like half an hour. Strawberry Vinegar, it says you can do in five minutes. That's the what people are doing. Apparently that one doesn't even have a PS5 version, which is surprising. I do got to play this one at some point. This one, I don't even know if it has a Platinum. These guys I'll play at some point, but I'm a little bit worried because they have online and they're fighting based. Oh, Horizon, getting DLC in three months. I'm excited. Kind of. Slightly. Not heavily. Uh, this is an old school Rattalaka game. Uh, back when they were actually a little bit more challenging. So, we're not playing that one tonight. Or, I'm not planning to play that one tonight. Okay, what's next? We're playing High School Romance. Oh, I had plenty of high school romances. And then I got my heart broken numerous times. So that's my experience with high school romance. Seven minutes? Are you freaking kidding me? Seven whole minutes for a platinum? That That is... That is unreasonable, sir. Or ma'am, or whoever made this game. When you have other visual novels out here that take five minutes, or three minutes, or one minute... Seven minutes is unacceptable. 
Unless you were going for a seven minutes in heaven type of thing, in which case I applaud you. I uh, get the tech speed up to max. And then skip for all messages. Okay. Three whole playthroughs? Are you kidding? That that is so excessive these days. That is just so excessive. I'll do what I have to do. Oh, and you have to hit the button every time you go past it. Wow. What is that thing supposed to be? Oh, well, this is not safe for YouTube. Only if you do first. Are they stripping? Help Piyoshi. Then we're going to play some tennis. Tennis is fun. I like tennis. Say nothing. Risque underwear. And cough. Oh, okay. All right. Stop and help. Then we have to help Hiroshi four times. Hoshi, not Hiroshi. Sure, I'll be glad to. It's very nice. Then, yes, park classical. Classical. Then, admit the truth. Say that we're still interested. Then pervy, show me how this could end well, I suppose. Selena, let it be. And Leah. Okay, well, I think that's one playthrough. Like, a three-year-old niece can draw all this, then she's pretty talented. So this is this is probably better than I can draw, if we're being completely honest here, guys. Playthrough 2. I honestly feel kind of, like, pervy, pedophile-ish for playing a game called High School Romance. Because I am a 27-year-old man... So this feels kind of weird. Then again, apparently the age of consent in Japan is 13. So I guess this probably isn't that unusual. Finish the race. We have to do this helping option four times again. And yes, park and classical. Yes. Park. Classical music. Admit the truth and Hoshi. Then we approach Selena and Hoshi again. And again, I feel really weird playing this given that Again, it's a high school romance, apparently, which feels so freaking weird. Ugh. Alright, round three. You only watched the original Star Wars trilogy? Well, the original is the best trilogy. So you saw the best trilogy. Original trilogy is the best. Uh, then I would say the prequel trilogy is next up. It, it's grown on me. It's not perfect by any means. It's not as good, but it's grown on me. Leave her to it. Go running and try to win. Stop and help.
And now we're going to help Selena four times. I will read comments here in just a second, folks. Let me just get through this. No park classical say nothing. No. No! Need the epic Chugga Conroy. No. Park classical say nothing. Selena, let it be, and Selena again. And that should be it. That should be our platinum. Let's find out. Yep, it is. And we're done. Hey, Secret Underdog. Thank you for stopping by, Hunter. Hope you enjoyed the stream. All right, well, that's done, thankfully. And again, I feel really weird playing that one. This could honestly be described as the night of random hentai games. Because honestly, that's all it's been. So five-ish minutes to get the platinum. So I did it in five minutes. You can do it in five minutes. That's seven minutes is a little excessive. 80%. Again, this one's 80%. But fucking Sakura Succubus is 70 per less than 70%. I still find that honestly hard to believe. In all honesty, I find that hard to believe. Well... Let's do it again! Because we have no shame here at ZPTV123's Trophy Incorporated website, gaming, stream, whatever you want to call me. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Drunken Idiot Streams Hentai Games. That, that could be a decent name for it. Drunken Dumbass Streams Hentai Games for two hours. That's not a bad idea, actually, for a titling. Drunken Dumbass streams hentai games for two hours. Hey, Lan. We are playing really not very good games tonight. Except for No Man's Sky. That, that was a good one. That's a good game. All the other ones, not so much. Yeah, th this game is something. I'm sure this is going to get someone in trouble. Uh, I hope you're not playing this out loud or something in school right now or something like that. Say nothing. Risque underwear. Cough. Then we stop and help. Yeah, I hope you're not watching this at work or school right now. And like getting in trouble with your teacher or something. Or your boss. It's me like, hello person, what the fuck are you watching right now? Hentai girls in high school? Sure, I'd be glad to. It's very nice. Then yes, then park. Classical and admit the truth. I don't mind classical music. I don't necessarily like it, but I don't mind it. I'm still interested. Then we select Pervy and Show Me. Then Selena, Let It Be, and Leah. Alright, let's play through one done. You got the Days Gone Platinum. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. That is a solid game that I definitely... I'm going to play that one someday just on an alt account. Because I, I don't see myself getting through the challenges. I can do everything else most likely with enough practice and all. But I, I don't want to do the challenges. 
Because the game actually looks fun, and I know that they've scrubbed any plans for a DLC, unfortunately. Or, not DLC. I don't know why I said DLC. It, it took me a second to realize what I said. I'm in a sequel. Because they released DLC. Finish the race. Help Hoshi four times. Yes, Park Classical. Yes. Go to Park. You like classical music. Admit the truth in Hoshi. And we approach Selena. And Hoshi. And that's the end of our second playthrough. The Lego Harry Potter games. Those are at least fun. I do like the Lego Harry Potter games, especially 5 through 7. 1 through 4, just the fact that it's so buggy and so known to have problems is the main reason I'm more hesitant on it. I don't really want to do the PS3 version because I know that it's, with my luck, it's going to break on me. Like, I know for a fact that with my luck, it'll break on me. Leave her to it. Then we go running. So schools are in Japan. Legitimate question. Is that how it is in Japan? Now we do stop and help. And then we have to help Selena four times in a row. Don't accidentally click the wrong one here. No park classical. No. Then park. Then classical. Say nothing and Selena. Then after Selena, let it be and Selena again. My day was good, secret. Uh, Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 does have buggy trophies, at least on the PS3 version. 5 through 7 I didn't run into any problems with. But 1 through 4 on the PS3 is a broken game. Ghost lucked out. He apparently didn't have anything break on him, but it can. Yeah, 82%. Okay. Man, we're going to close in on 690 here. I'm going to have to get started on 700 soon. Which the good thing for Platinum 700 is it's really rather short. Because I already decided on what I'm doing for 700. And I am excited for it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But it is a very short Platinum overall. It's like a 10 hour Platinum. But it's a good game. And that's what matters. Okay, I guess next up. Dating Life, Miley and Emily. Lesbian couple. Oh, this is a three-minute platinum? Oh, hell yeah. We love a three-minute platinum in here. Let me get some water and the remainder of the liquor here. Because I need it to get through shit like this. That's the water bottle breaking up. Water is good. Please drink water, folks. Please drink responsibly. Alcohol and water included on that. Yay, we're going to make a lesbian relationship. Even though that's literally the theme of like half of these games. Oh, good. They clarified here. Everyone's 18 in this one. Oh, well, at least they clarified it. 
this time. Because they didn't clarify it in the other ones. And wow, that's kind of loud. Tech speed and auto forward time go to maximum. And then skip. All right, we're going to tell them that we shower. Apparently, you're in the shower. Okay. Well, you're over 18. So, I guess it's okay. So, now we have to make our first save. Okay, so this is one of the ones where we actually have to have save files. And we're going to insist that we buy dinner. And then we're going to save again. And we're going to order bourbon, which is my liquor of choice. So I appreciate it. Oh, that was the end? Wow, that's a short game. Order wine. And you don't blush easy. Then we make our third save. And we we keep eating. And it's a bad ending? Nothing wrong with eating. Load save three. And break the silence. Two random trophies here? Okay, so now we load save one. We split the bill and stay for the show. And now we save one more time. And we're gonna get a kiss. Then we load save four and grind. Again, at least we know that everyone's over the age of 18 here. That is a really short visual novel. That is an insanely short visual novel. That is like nothing. Like that is super, super short. Even with all the endings in the game, that is super freaking short. Like that is insane. That is so, so short. It's weird to think that that can count as a game these days. Well, we're getting these games off a of backlog. Toilet water. Yeah, toilet water is bad. Toilet water, not so good. I've never drank toilet water, but I assume it's terrible. Again, 83%. Only 83%. And I guess with this one, you do have to get a lot of endings and all, but still. Still surprised at that. That it's that uncommon. Okay, let's do it again. Another three minutes, another ten trophies or whatever. This is our last Game of Zumi game tonight, I believe. Had pretty high viewership so far, so I'm happy with that. Like I said, I don't really intend to do a lot of these streams in the future just because I don't want my entire account to be these shitty ass five minute platinums I have some standards but I will do another one in 2023 don't get me wrong I will do another one in 23 Yeah, I will do another one in 2023. For sure. But it'll probably be like midway through the year. I'm going to buy your dinner. Then we save. And we buy bourbon because bourbon is good. Oh, so they end up hooking up in that ending. Okay, you know what? I, I consider that to be a good ending. Don't you guys? It seems like a good ending to me. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna keep eating. Let me load save three and break the silence. Now we load save one and offer to split the bill and then stay for the show. Well, I can hear other people yelling outside my house. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Kiss her. Why wouldn't you kiss? Now we load save four. And grind against her. And that should be her platinum. That's, that's gotta be near record time, right? That, that better be near record time. But that is a really short visual novel. I gotta say, that that's rather short. Yeah, in 2023, it's fine so far. No complaints yet. So I did that in like two whole minutes. About two minutes. That, that's got to be near record time. 77% though. 83% PS4 version. This is good though. I am burning through this library of shitty games. Uh, let me check PSN profiles real quick. I think we got a couple more easy platinums to do tonight. I'd like two more to do tonight, I think. Yeah, this better jump me like 20 rankings. 1 minute 44 seconds. Okay, that, that better be near record. How are people doing this in under a minute? I want to know that. I want to know how people are doing that game in under a minute. I, I really want to know. Almost done with Unity. 100% sync. Very nice. That I'm sure will be a nice relief when you get done with it. Okay, Strawberry Vinegar is a... I guess I was wrong before. We're doing another visual novel. We're doing one more. This is the last one of the night. Oh, no, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I can't imagine. Because, for me, like, the dog I had for most of my life, he passed away in the middle of the night, like, Christmas Eve of 2017. So we didn't have to do the putting down... Keep skipping, skip all text. Oh, we want auto forward to be as fast as possible. We want text speed to be as. F this does not control well. So I'm not looking forward to this. This controls like shit. I unquestioningly upset everything. Refuse. And I won't change my mind. Oh, I was supposed to make a save there. Well, that's fine. I can fix that easily. Oh, this game controls like shit. Okay, so we have our save here just in case. And this time we say... What on earth are you talking about? 
Now we have to make another manual save. I'm gonna agree and say that I'm very sure. Get several trophies. And we bake her something. And we'll save number three. Whatever, let's go to the festival. Save number four. Actually, I'm not very hungry. And then follow the blonde. Load save four. The dango might be better. Make pancakes with Lysia at home. It's nobody's fault, and then we help dad make the porridge. a rough time like I know how you feel it is it is hard it is the worst thing that can uh, about the worst thing that can affect you that was a very difficult day and I'm sure that you're feeling the same I am not very mature so and then we order the hamburger steak. Was that an ending or? Yeah, I guess it was. Uh, save number five, we reload. Thank Lysia. Let her stay like that. I'd like to think I'm more mature. Tell her you love her. And then order the omelet. Why does the omelet make a difference is my question. Why does it make a difference if you buy an omelet versus a hamburger steak? Omelets and hamburger steaks are both delicious. This game is definitely a little more complicated. So now we load manual save three. And we say, let's be responsible. Screw being responsible. It's not going to help you that much. Ask dad. And then console her. Then we make manual save number six. Damn, that's a lot of manual saves. Make her some lunch. And that ends the game, I assume. No, it doesn't. But we're gonna... Save number six. And this time we're gonna buy her lunch. Defend your actions, buy Lucia's recipe. Or buy Lucia a crepe, I mean. And then we refuse. That's the end of that path. Oh, they died. 
Well, okay, that, that's a good turn for the worst. Load manual save number two. This time we refuse. All right, I'll let you stay here. Then, and there, give her a cup. So then eat the pudding and whatever. And then shaved ice might be nice. Then we make pancakes and it's dad. This game is actually rather extensive. Help dad scold Lilia. Get Lysia to move, and then, oh, absolutely. That's the end of that playthrough. Oh, that might be it. I'm actually kind of glad this one's done. That was a little bit weird with the way that it worked. But we're done. Uh, my least favorite of the Far Cry franchise, I would say was probably Far Cry... Uh, Primal was probably my least favorite. Far Cry Primal and Far Cry Classic were my two least favorites. Okay, we're at 690. I think we got time for some tanks versus tanks in PvP. This game looks absolutely shit. Why am I the second one on the screen? Wow, this is awful. So apparently I just have to blow up my own tanks. This is what I looked up. I just have to blow up my own tanks repeatedly. Dealing damage slowly. Is that 10? 8. So if I can blow up two at once. I missed. Sir, you are intruding on my personal space. Wow, this game looks like absolute dog shit. I really hope this one doesn't get DLC. Whoa, okay. I just flew up in the air. This is not good. Yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. I'm not even blowing up the tanks is the funny part. I'm just shooting them once and they like fly up in the air. So that's 14. I guess it's like 25 or something. What the... I think this game is broken. I'm not blowing anything up, sir. Nothing is exploding. Alright, is that it then? Yep. Well, glad I never have to touch this pile of shit ever again. I hope. Again, I'm, I'm worried this is the kind of game that would get DLC randomly for no reason. Whatever comes down to it, I'll always hide something if I have to. Okay, well, that's done. So I just had to destroy a total of 20 tanks. Not even without dying, just 20 total. Story Vinegar 
How is that an 89%, but some of these others are so much lower? All right. Uh, is there anything else left on my list for tonight? There is not. Nothing else left on the list to play for tonight. So, I think we're going to do something a little bit different here. And we're going to try out modern day No Man's Sky. Now that we got all our Platinums for the night, let's do something different. This game looks like it's so much better now. Drink the water. Drink the other water bottle now. I am not a fish. Alright guys. Oh. Well, damn it. Hiccups are still here. I'll be back here in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna go pee real quick. And then I'm gonna start a new game of No Man's Sky on the PS5 and see what it's like.
All right. So apparently I'm not a fishing doesn't work anymore. Which ghost told me that? Man, there's so much stuff going on. We're gonna start a new game on normal. I hate hiccups. All right, we're gonna start on normal and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna play for a little while, just see what happens. See how the game is now. Oh. I hate hiccups so much. So it's so funny because back when me and Lizard Guy first bought this game, we both bought it day one. I told him that he was going to spawn on some lush, beautiful planet, and then I was going to spawn on some shitty wasteland planet. This is back in, you know, day one. And it turned out I was right, which is hilarious. I have not played Village on my account. Ooh, it's cold out here. First contact. Okay, so we have a mining beam and a scanner. But we need ferrite dust to fix <gasps> fix it. Okay, how do I get ferrite dust? Oh, we're in trouble, aren't we? Oh, uh, kill me. What does that give me? Apparently not ferrite dust. Ooh. Residual goo. Ooh. I don't know what that does. Is there a way to switch back to first person? Eight heck ops. We're getting some ferrite dust here, okay. Oh. Yeah, we need that scanner going. Mm. Mm. Alright, let's see if we can repair the scanner now. Okay, it's repaired. <gasps> More ferrite. We need sodium from yellow plant. These things. Okay. All right, so that works. 
Give it some sodium. Some so <gasps> sody. Shody, sody. We're playing some No Man's Sky. <laughs> Resident Evil 8, I would like to do it eventually. <laughs> There's definitely a part of me that's concerned about parts of it. Going for the platinum and all. Fried that. Did it do anything for me? Ooh. God, I hate this. This is definitely more complicated than it was when I played this game. Ooh. There's cargo. How do I scan things? Like critters. I want to scan the critters. The little Christmas critters. Carbon! This is going to run out, isn't it? Probably. R3 is sprint. <gasps> is a really weird choice, by the way. Mm. But yeah, I would like to do Bilge at some point. Even though I know that it's tough. But I, I have played it, at least. Just not on my main account. Mm. Let's see if I can recharge the mining beam. Oh. Jetpack life support. How do I fix the mining beam though? Charge it with carbon. Let's get some oxygen here. Ooh. Oxygen. Oxygen rich plant. I will take it. So this is funny, this is a nice planet. Uh, when I first, when I started this game back in, you know, 2016 or whatever, the first planet I got was just like oh, a barren, rocky shithole of a planet, but it had a lot of whatever the good mat <laughs> materials were at the time in it. I mean, like phosphorus or something? Does that sound right? Back in the like early game days, <laughs> phosphorus being good. Something like that. There's our ship. Well, this is nice. There's a little base camp here. <laughs> God, I hate hiccups. I uh, just harvest it, I guess. This game is a lot more complicated than it was when I was first playing it. <laughs> Deleted. Boundary separation failure. Vessel emptied. Analysis. Broadcast it. Anom oh! Anomaly. Anomaly. We're going to murder you for triggering anomaly. Uh, let's 
get into our ship if we can. This is a lot safer. Connect the exosuit. Now, what does that do? Maintenance. Self-repair initiated. We need hermetic seal and metal pl <coughs> metal plating. I don't. I don't know how to make either of those. Oh, metal plating is just ferrite, ferrite dust, well I can make that easily. We also need a hermetic seal. No. Warp cells will be good later. I do not know how to make a hermetic seal. Definitely changed some things. Search it, search it. Anything? Atlas Pass. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, anything in here? A beacon. Planetary planetary chart. I like that. we can while we're here. Take the fair right. I don't know if it's that gonna, gonna be all that useful anymore. In this version of the game. Okay, so we have a planetary chart. Pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. And that ne <coughs> needs a hermetic seal. So hermetic seal, pure ferrite, di oh. dihydrogen jelly are the three things that we need. Okay, so break these up. God, I hate hiccups so much. I don't have any analysis visor installed. Wonderful. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. At least there's lots of dihydrogen in here. Oh. 
right, that should be pretty close. So how do, how do I make pure ferrite, though? We're collecting dihydrogen, which is great. Ooh, can't mine, oh! can't mine that right now. And I do know that I am limited in my mining abilities. to be my friend. I will look at that. Oh! Look at that later. Okay, so we need Hermetic Seal. We need Pure Ferrite di oh! Dihydrogen Jelly. Ooh. So I gotta look into all this. certain things. So where's my dihydrogen? Ooh, I have plenty of it. Like I have plenty of dihydrogen, but... How does that work? Ooh. We have a planetary chart, but I don't understand how that works. Ooh. God, I hate up so much. We need pure ferrite and we need dihydrogen jelly. Ooh. But I don't know how to make dihydrogen je oh. jelly. Is there like a workbench or something I can make for anyone who has played this game in recent years? I would love to know. It's like, oh, I gotta be missing something. I have gotta be missing something. Because we're getting plenty of dihydrogen here. Is that an animal? I think that was an animal. Oops. Well, it's still alive, so it's okay. Oh! I hate hiccups so much. Oh! I wish the old not a fish thing actually still worked, but it doesn't work anymore. Oh! Unfortunately. Cave. Ooh, that stuff. Uh oh, what was that? All right, collect the marrow bulbs. So down here, temperature is stabilized. That's good. We got plenty of carbon. 
What game? Uh, I got some emissions to do in, in Unity. So, uh, no ability to help here. I swear I'm gonna need help with this game. Oh. Gotta figure out what it wants me to do. So highlight, <coughs> highlight the chart and press square. Ooh. Oh, okay. I was supposed to do that. We got ships passing over the planet. <laughs> and that's going to give me the part that I need. Let's head for it. I don't know if that's it, actually. I think that's just an oxygen plant. That's where I'm supposed to be going. That is a long ways away. Up so much. <clears throat> oh, well, I fell in a cave. Wonderful. <clears throat> that was almost really bad. Someday this will end. <laughs> Seek shelter in caves. I'm trying to. Charge it with the sodium. The sodi, sodi, so sodi. Oh! So this looks like a camp that I can use. Head inside. Hollow archive. <gasps> there we go.
All right, so we need an analysis visor. Ooh. Oh, we can repair this now, but Starship's out of range. Of course it is. <gasps> So we need the analysis visor. Carbon nanotubes, I thought I had that. Oh. Iron batteries, I don't have any of that. Oh. I need carbon then. Lots of carbon. <clears throat> All right, get that carbon, get that fair right. Steak. Hey, raw steak is the best kind of steak. Mm. Alright, how do I craft carbon uh, carbon nanotubes? How do I do that? Feel like a workbench option or something. Maybe in this building. Well, that's not anything I can see. I don't know what to do. Well, that, that I can build, but it's not that hard. Oh, now I can build carbon nanotubes. Ugh. I honestly have no idea what this is doing anymore. So we need to analyze objects for reward. Includes these random animals. I like the units. Return to the starship and continue repairs. <laughs> 
scan that. Get those units. I'll take them. Ooh. Ship is up there. Okay, get that. Oval light. That could be bad. Run. All right, back to our stars. <gasps> Starship. Starships. We're meant to fly something across the sky. You just bought Borderlands 1. Ooh, Borderlands 1 is a great game. Very, very fun game. The Platinum especially is great. The DLC is a little less, a little less so. But the platinum is a gr is a great time. Creatures. Oh! God, I hate these hiccups. They don't go away. Oh! Like, no matter what I do, they don't go away. already I've apparently discovered. Or apparently Count has discovered. Oh. Recently went back to trying to get the uh, Fortnite Platinum. Oh. Ooh, good luck with that, my friend. I know that that one is brutal. Pulse engine is repaired. So we just need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's our dihydrogen jelly. So we got that. some dihydrogen jelly. Alright. So now we just need pure ferrite. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right, so we have plenty of ferrite dust. That's not it, though. do I get pure ferrite? Oh. Alright, so we need pure ferrite. Advanced materials required. Deploy a portable refiner. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we need to craft the metal plating. Ooh. Then we need a portable refiner. Uh! that. Mm. Yeah, I don't see how to make that. Mm. Oh, okay. some carbon. Mm. Now I'll give me some pure fair right. Game, I'd, I'd like to take the refiner back. Mm. All right, so we should be able to leave the planet here. This game, this game is freaking complicated, by the way. Yeah, this game is very complicated overall. Mm. Let's see if we can get out of here. Need a drink of water? Yeah, probably. But I want to see if I can find a space station mm. first. Display controls in R2, that's what I'm doing right now. System with a lot of like rings on the planet. Uh! On the planet. Mm. I gotta find a space station though. Mm. 
there should be one around every galaxy here at this point. Ooh. Ooh. At least I thought there would be, but I don't see a space station. Maybe that right there? Alright guys, I think, I think I'm going to call the night here. I don't even know what's going on with this game anymore. So I think I'm going to call of the night here, try to figure out how this, how this game works. Uh, the next live stream will be back to Fallout 3. That series is not forgotten by any <coughs> by any means. So yeah, next time we'll be back to Fallout 3. We'll be working on that Platinum Trophy in 100%. So, <coughs> thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this longer, or not even longer, but <coughs> in-depth live stream. And I'll see you guys next time for more content.